everyone um, welcome to another video my name is Eliza and if you're new here I am on my journey to starting a digital agency in today's video I want to just do a, a behind the scenes of my week it is currently Tuesday so I'm a little late in my week and yeah I'm super excited this week I'm feeling very very motivated to get things done and you know start taking clients in again as i stated in my first video that i posted on here um i did stop taking client or new clients in my agency just because i didn't have i felt like i didn't have the right onboarding process and how i was handling each client um it kind of felt like a mess and granted it's my first time starting this business and this agency and learning the workflows throughout it is a work in progress so i decided that i was going to finish up these clients and then start looking for more work so i'm eager to finish these clients so i could get started on some new on some new projects as well enjoy a week in my life and yeah just got out of class and i am sweating so i had an hour muay thai class then i went in the sauna right after okay so here's my whoop log for the day i got let's zoom this in real quick got the kickboxing sauna in my sleep um yeah it was a light day it was my monday Okay, so I'm currently in my office right now and I'm trying to make a, a homepage for my family member that has a photography business. Currently, it is 316. Let's see. Close the door. I'm gonna lock in right now and see how long it takes me to do one homepage. For the fight of my life in my knees and okay it's 45 minutes in it took me 45 minutes to make this homepage. um essentially i just got this template off wix and then switched words around pictures and yeah let me show you guys so what i'm gonna do with this website is i'm gonna go ahead and send it to her have her review it um and yeah okay so i'm gonna text her real quick hey just put together a mock-up for the home page let me know what you think of the design this is just a starting point so we can definitely adjust it with new images or add more as needed it's just to give you a feel for the overall look and layout looking forward to your feedback so no matter who you are handling your websites with um just always make sure to keep everything professional just because you just because they're family doesn't mean you can't be professional um so this right here just keeps track of my clients and everything so these are all the websites that i've been able to complete the ones that are in progress negotiation and proposal so i keep all my stuff in this notion that is super helpful just to keep me on track uh another thing that i'm doing currently is looking to hire a developer uh reason being is i physically can't do all the work myself so i am looking more towards outsourcing to clients but i'm kind of struggling right now finding somebody that can replicate that same aesthetic that i'm trying to go for the design so that's why i've took it upon myself to work on these clients and do them myself but that's essentially straining me so i decided to go on a walk there's my view okay for breakfast we got some ground beef three eggs and i have a avocado and i log it in this app still wednesday i am going to a coffee shop i just want to switch up today's environment of working so
so i just finished at the coffee shop i was there for like about three hours um sun is setting and i'm really trying to catch this sunset <laughs> Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Um, today's gonna be a busy day because I do want to get as much things done before the weekend comes. So I was able to find a developer that can help me on these next projects that I have for website development. Um, I found him on Upwork and is able to do the websites that I'm asking for and looking for. That's a big plus. I'm super happy about it. The client was super happy with it. So we're gonna go ahead and further our contract with working with each other. So the next steps, since that was just completed and done with, I kind of need to guide him on what I want him to do in the next pages of the website and there is seven pages on this project i kind of took a loss just because i really wanted to work with her and we were going back and forth for like the last two months and so we settled on a redesign for six hundred dollars for eight pages which is a lot i know um it's a lot like i don't I don't have anything else to say, but just want to do as many websites as I can and work with as many people as I can. So the price wasn't really affecting me, especially if I got if I could outsource it and then I wouldn't be doing the work. So it would it would be like I'm the middleman in this scenario, which the agency is essentially going to be. So charge her six hundred dollars. I'm hiring the website designer on Upwork for two hundred dollars. So we're not doing any of any of the work, which is pretty good. That is the goal of this whole entire agency, but obviously with bigger figures. I was able to sell a website for $2,000 and I was able to do the work and I came home with all that money. But at the end of it, I took more time to do something rather than me going and looking for more clients. Whatever you weigh it, you either get all the money, spend all, waste all your time or waste barely, if not a little bit of time and get 80% of the amount. It's up to you. I guess that's what, the, that's what the difference is with becoming a freelancer and an agency. Sure, freelancers take all of it. They work for themselves. It's just, just them doing everything and that's it. Or an agency, you outsource the product to get what the client wants. So either way, the, the client is winning in this. It's just whatever you wanna navigate and how efficient you are. You know, if you're not really good at building websites, you don't have to be. You could be the middleman, the salesman, sell the website, find a developer, and then put it into that formula. So it's really up to you guys, but I was able to hire somebody. And now the next steps are me making a Google Doc just to streamline, wireframe, what I'm looking for for the client, and just making sure the pages have everything that they need to have. Um, I am currently making that. I could show you guys a brief overview of what that looks like. So I'm not done yet, but just show you what I have. So this is the developer's to-do list with the layout for each page. I noted right here at the top, all the blue is gonna be for all the copy that he needs to write in the page and make it work. So he needs a banner with the hero using the copy. So here following and then make service cards and then he could just check everyone once he's done. So that's what I'm currently doing just to make this process easier for me and him. This is the first thing on the to-do list. So currently it is 3.04. I'm gonna finish this document out. I have three more pages to go over an overview and then I have to send it to him, create the contract on Upwork and that'll be one thing done. And then we could go into the next things that I have today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a timer and just see how long this takes me. 305. Okay, it is 4.02. It took me 57 minutes to finish out the document as well as make the Upwork contract with the developer. And then I had access to the one website that we're working on together. When I'm working with clients, I don't have a random email and a random name linked to their website because they can see who's in charge and who has roles of their of their account um so that just makes it easier to just white label it and my team to have access to you know the websites without logging into my own personal email what's next mm -hmm. 